Hello there and welcome to my minecart shotgun tutorial for Dwarf Fortress. In this video I'm going to build with you together step by step a firing construction for minecarts and its content. So the hallway you see here will be our firing range and by the end of this video you will be able to understand how these wonderful machines work and I hope you will let doom rain down on your enemies at your own will. So before we get started, let's do the preparations. What we require is a minecart, but just not any minecart. I'm going to go for something specific here. Let's go downstairs to the workshop area, and we're going to see the carpenter's workshop. So the minecart shotgun is going to be, for me, ideally made out of, out of a light wood or a the lightest available material. Aluminum would be pretty cool as well. But uh, here we're going to take custard apple because that's ridiculously light as well. The gist of it is the weight of the minecart should be as low as possible because what we're going to construct here is a reloadable system. And a reloadable system means that we're going to carry that minecart around quite a lot. So a less heavy minecart is really beneficial here. So let's get started. First off, we're going to carve out the the firing range so what we're going to do here is the last part the ones that i smooth out will be fortifications do through these fortifications we will fire the projectiles and we're going to let a train track run down here and that next thing that we require will be a couple of height levels that the minecart can gain velocity on so next step we go at least three levels upstairs from here so one two three that's where we want to be so but it's always easier to dig from down to above in this scenario so we're going to do the ramp command so here one level up two level up three level up here we go so that's going to be the last ramp and then we're going to connect that with the with this tunnel here. Sorry for the comet noises, there are some goblins being spanked by the local militia. So what'll happen next is we're going to have these uh, tunnels and then we're going to carve out some train tracks. Let me make those boulders disappear so we have some clarity. Okay, so the train tracks, well, we can't already put one thing down. Oh, here, fortifications. You can either carve them out of natural rock, or if you don't want to, you can also construct them over here in the construction menu. Either will work. So next thing we do, we go for train tracks. So we're going to carve them into the floor because we're in the stone layer. So we're going to go for the freebies. And the last part of this must be a train stop or a track stop. So we're going to construct that. And here, the configuration of the track stop is really important. We don't want any auto dumping. And most importantly, we don't want any friction. We want to keep the momentum. We don't want to break down the, the, the minecart. We want it speedy, as fast as possible, into the wall. So we place that down. And with this uh, configuration like that, now I'm insecure if it was, uh, let, let me redo that. Was that wrong? It looked wrong. Okay, let's uh, go upstairs. And as you see there, we have now this entire thing going down there. And let's engrave the train track that we require. We start up here and now I just go downstairs while uh, just, uh, I just left click once. And uh, now I still have that on my cursor. And most importantly, connect it to the uh, train track. If you would stop here, it wouldn't connect to the train track. So here we do that. And now let's construct that uh, track stop. I think I configured it correctly, but I just want to show it another time. That's the uh, setup that you need to make things go boom. All right, we're almost there. There's not much more left to be done. Our dwarfs need to go for the train track, but as you see here, everything is being worked out nicely. So next step, we set up a route for that. So you go for the minecart route menu and we add a new one. First thing we do, we define one uh, minecart that we want to use. Here we define the custard apple one because it's nice and low weight. Now next thing we define a stop which is going to be here. 
Now we go into the rules of that stop and we delete everything in here. We, we don't want any rules for it now. What we do next is we define what kind of stuff do we want to fire at our enemies. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go IKEA style and let furniture rain down on our enemies. So all furniture is allowed. Next thing you need to do, you need to assign a stockpile to this. This system won't get loaded unless it's linked to a stockpile. This also means that you can, of course, like say we're, we would be digging out something like that, and then we could set up a stockpile clearly made just for ammunitions for this minecart. This, this is an expandable system. But for the sake of the lols, we go IKEA style. So next thing, we link the stockpile. Strangely enough, you cannot change height levels anymore, in this version at least, once you have uh, once you have this thing here open, I cannot change height levels anymore. It's weird like that. So we go over here, and this is my furniture depot. So we link it now with that button in the center to the minecart. So we have it now set up. There's no conditions for this thing to move for now. We have defined what should be loaded in it, and we have linked a stockpile. Everything is as it should be. So when we go back to the firing range now, there we go, here. So there we got everything. I just left that uh, corridor open here just for the sake of uh, holding back the ammunitions. But uh, in a real scenario, you could just seal yourself off and as long as you have enough ammunition, you can reload that system as often as you want to. This is pretty cool because you can fire this thing while staying safe behind the fortifications. You would be only endangered by stuff that can go back through fortifications like noxious odors and some attacks can cross fortifications but this is already a pretty pretty safe thing. So as you see there here we see the filling status of our minecart system so let's go upstairs and check it out. So as we see there we have a whole freaking furniture delivery there in it. So let's get down to the firing range and I'm always a fan of demonstrations when it comes down to trap designs so let's do it yet again. So we're going to have a big dwarf party in here and let's create a new route which is going to go just zigzagging around here. So they're going to have lots of leg space in there and we're going to activate the system. So to activate the shotgun we need to assign somebody to fire it. This is no automatic system. I'm working on an automatic system. It's going to get its own video, of course, but this one requires people to operate it and to reload the, the shotgun. But as I said, you can stay in relative safety. So let's pull the trigger. So you set up a new condition. You make sure that it's push off. You define the direction you need to push it off in this case east, and we tell it to go immediately. Wonderful. That's done. Let's enjoy the show. Somebody will now go and uh, push the shotgun, and then you'll see what will happen. I really love this system. It's amazing, and it does really a lot of damage. You will be, will, you will be surprised how much oomph there is just behind some furniture. And here we go. So uh, the fire went just down the hallway like that. This was because a lot of people were there to stop it and not much fired back there. But if the corridor would have been empty, the range is, uh, well, I haven't tried it if it goes further than that, but it surely does that. It's just important that I want to make it clear, try to have at least three Z levels that this thing can go down before it smashes into the wall. The more velocity, the better. I think you could also work with rollers to accelerate the thing, but I haven't tried that out myself. So let's get into the combat block to show you what this thing can actually actually do. Oh, that that's not what we want, what we wanted to see here. So here, a a barrel. The barrel destroyed pretty much his lungs, his arm. His arm got popped into an unrecognizable mass. So as you see there, this this guy is is pretty much dead. So uh, when we check out his uh, health tab, so uh, ability to stand lost, can't breathe. So this guy is dying. And uh, I mean, we didn't use an ideal ammunition here. I would recommend you to use weapons, trap pods, 
anything spiky and, and nasty. I just wanted to put in something for the lulls and to show you what this can do. By the way, these guys are heavily armored, so they didn't take that much damage, but uh, soft armored targets can be actually even get killed by Furch, as you see there. So load it with whatever you want to and leave me a comment about what kinds of ammunitions you would recommend, except the obvious very spiky things. So trap parts, weapons, I think these are the most popular things. I heard that coins are also pretty nasty because you can allocate a, a, a ton of these into one into one minecart. I'm really curious to know what you guys would, are making out of this. I even heard that burning blocks of lignite are a thing. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. Leave me a thumbs up <clears throat> if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I'd be really delighted to have you and a big thanks to the support out there. You guys are going crazy. And I'm so thankful. And seriously, thanks to everybody who supports this channel. It really means a ton to me and my family. And there's a couple of links down there to the other tutorials that I made, playlist links, and of course, support links. Patreon, PayPal, and buy me a coffee are ways and means to support this channel. And I'd be really delighted if you'd give them a look. Otherwise, thanks for watching this ad, watching this video to the very end. This is really amazingly helpful to me as well. And therefore, have a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Have fun with the shotguns.